Hey, Orange One here. So we are back in the science lab. Um, there is a ant larva chamber right here. And I was just honestly trying to just see what I could explore before I found anything interesting. And I thought you guys would be interested in maybe seeing what this location is like. So yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go into the ant territory, just kinda check it out a little bit. I don't wanna go too crazy. Um, let's go ahead and plug in the earplugs though. Yeah, I just don't want to get overwhelmed is what I'm thinking. Um, I think we could probably though Jane a couple of these guys because I mean I do have like all my magazines but why waste those you know? Is there anything that's trying to attack me? That jack ant? Can I kill? Nah I'm not gonna kill ant larva I'm just gonna get this out. Yeah. There we go. Nice and easy, right? Yeah, I know that we still got the earplugs in. Just kind of makes sense to do it this way, I think. Um, that's a giant ant. This is a forger. I bet we could melee a forger really easy. Yeah, it's dead. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to be meleeing too much. Uh, but yeah, it looks like now those foragers are hostile. The giant one is not. That is kind of weird. Um, we'll go ahead and get, get the gun out. Is the larva crawling towards me? Can they even do that? I'm not sure if they can. I'm going to take that one out. And same with that one. But yeah. I just don't want my gear getting all torn up. And yeah, if I do this, look, I bet I end up getting kind of beat up a little bit. Yeah, see now like the larva is coming in. I mean, what I could do, if I really want to be a tricksy little trickster, is I could get rid of my leg encumbrance and try and melee them. I'm just getting a little bit intimidated by the fact that there's so many of them around us right now. We'll just stand our ground for a second, yeah, and see if we can beat them. Yeah, that other one got scared off, cool. Yeah, I figured, you know, we might as well try and fight a couple of these guys and see how it goes. Yeah, the soldier ants, I definitely don't want to melee. Those ones I'll definitely shoot from afar. But the other ones, honestly, not too bad. I feel fairly comfortable meleeing, like, the larva and the foragers and stuff like that. The larva are quicker than I thought they would be, actually. Yeah, let's just fall back just a little bit. I don't know, is that thing fleeing from me? What's... Or is it waiting for the reinforcements? Oh, there is a bunch of them right there. Um, hmm. Are they, are they fleeing? No, they are not. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to kill them all. And we need to move on to the next magazine. And this one should go down. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, uh, that was, that was pretty intense, actually. I mean, I don't know how many of these I can really kill, but I mean, we're pretty much sustaining what we're trying to do. Wait, what? They got my iron greaves? I was not expecting that. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a giant ant there. Where did that come from? Like, did that, a, a larva turn into that? I feel like that happened. It might behoove us to get our friend to be with us for this. Yeah, I don't know if we can really even take this place. They just seem to be like spawning in. And they just are coming in at such a frequency. I mean, I can win. It's just kind of a matter of is it is it worth it, you know? Yeah, like I can even melee them down. It's not too bad. I mean, we cleared out this larva chamber. That's pretty good, right? Uh, actually, hold on. Yeah, stop catching- wait, hold on. I was catching my breath and there was all these guys running at me. That was dumb. Yeah, I should have probably been paying closer attention. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna fall back. Um, I'm gonna actually- yeah, I think- no, nah, I'm not gonna waste the ammo. We can handle this. This isn't too bad. They're just gonna- wait, cargo shorts? Did I read that correctly? 
Why do I have cargo shorts on? I think I grabbed that for like carrying stuff. Wait, really? That one got lucky. Um, yeah. I think that this is basically a waste of ammo. They're starting to run away good. Hello. I think they're starting to run away at least. And we're starting to kind of get a little bit low on ammo. Yeah, I think that we should just kind of fall back here. I, they might also be coming to the noise of the guns, so we may have cleared out just a ton of the forces there. I don't know how that's going to affect other things, though. There's a little aspirin there. I don't need any pain meds, though, do I? No. I would benefit from a little bit of battery power, though. I want to keep out for things that might contain battery power. This place is uh, royally... Um, not... Yeah, that's like a prisoner containment, and there's some smoke there. Okay, we don't want to go there. Sorry, I'm just going to walk away. Oh, there's smoke there, too. Uh, it's really annoying. Is that larva coming towards me? What about the soldier ant? Okay, we good. We got the breath back. I would really like to be able to hit the soldier ant. Yeah, there we go. I think that that's, yeah, that's pulped. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what's generating all that smoke. I mean, I can walk through smoke and it's fine. But I just kind of was wanting to clear out this level and make sure that it was completely cleared out. So I'm just going to just, you know, kind of look at the perimeter because this is, you know, essentially what I've been doing for a little while. I've got a pretty good idea of how to do it. You just kind of follow the outskirts, you know. And like you could see that I was prison containment and then there's this like ant mess. And because we got the enhanced memory, we can remember a ton of tiles. So like all of this is pretty much all explored um, as much as possible. A little bit of fungal mess over there. Um, I think, yeah, I might have explored a little bit of this off camera. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. But like there's this room up here, which could have some stuff. I, I don't know what the terminal said it had. It might not have anything. But then this is where we were kind of at. And so I think that we've basically explored this level besides that hallway. Let's make our way over to that hallway and see what's going on over there, huh? Also, we could, don't need to have our mask on, but it's kind of nice in a place like this because you end up having to take it, um, put it on and off so much. You know, so I think that there was also the C the sporadic or sporific or something CBM, which I looked up and it helps you sleep, which would be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic for our character. So I would really like that one. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. Um, if I go up to this, did I already explore this? And the fact that I left a gun and a magazine there makes me feel like I've explored this. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's just catch our breath. Uh, get a little bit more power back. Um, sure, you can have a little tea. And I think we'll just kind of see what's um, on the other side. I do have enough power to get out of here, just about. Um, yeah, let's, let's check it out. Probability travel. There we go. Okay, there's, yeah, actually was not probably worth it, considering where we're probably going to get from this. I mean, it's not going to be terrible. Okay, this guy's about to kick us. Uh, okay, we're out of ammo. By the time I've reloaded, he's going to have punched me. Too bad you didn't actually get me through the wall there, buddy. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to repair some of our clothes. I need to just take off those cargo shorts. I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> wearing that. Okay. Um, yeah, keep that on. I don't think I'm going to try and get rid of our pain. 
Definitely will uh will smash that guy though. Sorry, I was just kinda looking at things. Oh, a survivor's note. We need vitamins. That's actually something I should probably eat a fair amount of. I might even take them. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a bunch of spiders. This is not not worth um really hanging around for at all. Uh, I will eat the food though, or the drinks, I suppose. There might be some medicine or cleaning supplies in the very back, but like that's also a maybe. So it's like, yeah, d probably not really worth it. So we'll just kind of wait here by the door, and we'll we should get um, the ability to. Um, actually, sorry, I'm gonna take the earplugs out. It's kind of. Yeah, it's better with a little bit of ambiance, right? We'll take a little break. Unless that one gets through the glass, I'm fine. I think that that's enough power to get back, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, um... I should be very cautious right now because we're a little bit low on our power. Um... So, I might just take a second and see what items we have around us. Anything that might maybe have... no, nothing that would maybe have... Um, we're gonna take these off. Yeah. Uh, did I drop other things? Oh, I want my thermos. Yeah, I no. Um, let's drop that. Why am I carrying that? Um, I still need to drop stuff. Okay, well maybe I do have. Oh well, I can put that in. In um. Let's see. Yeah, I can put that in there, and then I should be able to pour that in my inventory. Perfect. Okay, cool. Well, it looks like I'm kind of getting um near our uh, carrying capacity, so that's uh that's good, right? Um, I think, so we've, we really should be going down. Is that a battery right there? What is that? Oh, that's, that's the guy I just dropped. Duh. <laughs> oh man, that's embarrassing. I literally just dropped that item. No, I think that happens to all of us when we, we play games like this where there's just so much going on. You know? Like, my, my brain is keeping track of probably like 10 different things. How are you feeling there, buddy? Um, so Harvey here, yeah, he's dead tired. He just, he's been having a hard time sleeping. I think it's because I keep on shooting guns. I, I might have said that previously. I can't really remember. Um, oh, oh yeah. Like some solar panel or something got busted. I remember that now. Okay, uh, can I get my stuff back now? Yeah, I definitely want that. Hold on. Why am I... Oh, they're both out of their things. Okay. Perfect. I wish there was an easy way to do that. They probably will make it easier with the overhaul of things. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And... Okay, cool. So we got all of our full battery power. So we are good to go, man. You know, I would like to install some of these CBMs that we've been finding, but... We'll see. I, I really am curious around about that sporific CBM, and I wonder if with Z levels turned on, if I can see, see stuff from other Z levels. I suspect that's what's going on, but I don't know. Um, also, let's just take a second to um, cut up this pillow and do a little bit of tailoring. Um, because we got some stuff that I think we can repair with that. Yep, perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Um, and then same with this. Yep. Very nice. I don't know if we can do the same to anything else now. It probably, probably not. Yeah, that we could repair back at the car, but we're not going to. Okay, so let's have a little peek down there. Okay, that looks like clear, so that's good. Uh, we got probably ants in every direction is what it's looking like what have I become why can't I die that sounds like a cyborg actually 
Uh, Dione. I don't know if I have that. It does look like I actually already own that. Okay, cool. Good to know. Is that super glue? Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, these rooms, that's very good for us to know that those are kind of clear. Uh, heli drone. Okay. Or a blip. Or a blip makes me a little nervous. I don't know what they do. Um. Okay, uh. So there's a number of robots around us that we want to be a little bit careful about. Well, you know what? We got a control laptop. I, I kind of feel like Nosh would want to use explosives on these guys, but, um, yeah, they refuse to acknowledge me. Okay, well, we'll keep on doing that then, Heli Drone. Until I get it. I don't know, it, it's probably determined by, like, my skill level versus, like, some sort of check that's different for different robots, right? I feel like this is, um, more difficult than the other stuff that we've hacked in the past. This is so many clicks to try and, and uh, take this out. Heli drone, come on. Okay, that's not working for us. Tell you what. We're gonna do... What about these prototype cyborgs? Is that the ones that I need to deconstruct? I feel like that is. I'm just gonna um, override the things that I can Yep. And then they might actually be fighting other things. I don't know. But I'm going to just make these all my friends. And then we'll be able to maybe uh, disassemble some of these guys and get some more companions. Oh man, that would be so cool. Yeah, so we're being very successful with pretty much everything besides this drone. So that means that we should be clear everywhere besides directly north of us, right? Yeah, this thing is super annoying. Yeah, um... Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> We're just gonna keep on going for a while at this. I mean, I don't think that our chance is... Like, it's impossible, and I don't think anything bad can happen to us. So it's kind of like, why rush it? You know, I feel like that's like the constant... Uh, thing with uh, Cataclysm is like why rush anything you know like you can you can do just about anything in this game you just have to be very patient but I am starting to lose my patience with this heli drone I'm wondering if it actually would be easier to kill it um, I'm not seeing any way to get rid of the lights in here is the one problem and I'm not really sure uh, how it would work and we can try and get our little robot friends to attack it or something, I don't know. Hello. So you're my insane cyborg friend. Oh, so you're... Yeah, you're just uh, like a peon. And you're my turret friend. Hello. I mean, I could maybe open this up and get the heli drone and the turrets to like fight each other. That could work. If I can open this and then sprint over here and out, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I think there's a lot of bullets there. So is the heli heli drone shooting? What type of bullets are those? 0.25. That's that's not anything to laugh at. I'm just gonna open that and close that, and hopefully our turret friend. Um. Maybe that heli drone will go towards that sound. I don't know. I think we're gonna hear some bullets firing soon. Um, for now, I'm just gonna kind of go over here. Oh look, there's. I think this comes when things explode. So I think something's been making some big explosions around here. So I need to be a little bit careful. I don't know that. For just to be clear, that's just a theory of mine. Um, so we can kind of charge through the lightning there. 
But do I need to charge through the lightning? I, I don't think they do. I think I can, um... Uh, no, I... Yeah, step back from the ledge. I thought that we would be... It's not a pit, so I'm not able to put the plank over. Um, what if I wanted to put down a floor? Wood chip floor? No. We want the thing that is, like... Like a bridge or something. Yeah, no, that's not. This this doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get over there, which is annoying. Um, I mean, does it say I can jump over? Jump over. Yeah, I don't want to jump over. That seems like a bad idea. I'd rather get electrocuted than try and jump that. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Just kind of wait for the next burst. And, oh, that was, that was a little bit of luck there. I'm gonna just leave those open. I don't think the lightning can get us here. Oh, look, a little bleach. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna mark that on my map. map. Uh, bleach. Yeah, cool. All right, um, those doors look special. Northwest, you hear Russia's thrust. Uh, I think that's the heli drone, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, this there does seem to be a lot of little rooms here. It is strange that heli drone and my um, my friend, the um, the turret, have not started shooting each other. I'm curious because the heli drone it looks like it was shooting something because there's those bullets on the ground, you know. Just like, what was it shooting at? I, ca I really am curious about that. Um, what else is in here? Science SD card. Oh. I don't know what's on that, but that sounds like a quest item down the road. Uh, EMP blast. Uh, something just EMP'd me. And they EMP'd me again. So I think... Uh, there's something around here. I don't know what. But it's it's got EMPs. Um, it might be a heli drone. I think I was just thinking maybe it's something around us or something. I don't know. Oh, target lost. So something's going out of our, our uh, reality bubble or something. Yeah, see, this thing is tough to hack as well. Okay, well, try, try again, and then I guess give up. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? No. <laughs> I know that's not how it goes. Uh, Screecher Zombie. Uh, I don't want to shoot because we might hit those beakers, and I've seen things that it looks like... Oh no! What happened there? Mutagen? Dirty? Do you like knock that over? I didn't see anything in the log there. Was it the scream? I think the scream broke the, the thing that the mutagen was in. Is that, is that what happened? Is that seriously simulated here? I, I'm, I'm just trying to... Wait, what's this? Oh, what's this one? Anti-grav thrusters, it's safe behind us. Ooh, spider serum. Oh, we could give that to... Um, what's his face? Um, we could give that to our, our bear person, our bear minotaur person, because that, I think the spider one is what speeds you up. Um, and that's really why I want it. I've heard other people uh, making um, builds specifically to take advantage of that speed bonus that the spider gets and just kind of have that overlap um, and cancel out with the speed penalty ones that you get. West, I'm hearing something gaining elevation. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, can't. It must be underneath us or something. 
Yeah, because oh look, there's there's a whole little room in here. Sure, I'll definitely take the bandages. Um, that lightning just went through that wall. That's I don't think how lightning works. But you know, maybe the blob changed the fundamental physics of electricity. I don't know. The blob has you know gone between dimensions. I think it can manage um, a little bit of warping of physics. You know. And it's practically the same thing, right? No, that's at least what I would assume. We don't really know. You know, I was I was talking to my wife a little bit about like the nature of our universe a little bit and like what we really really do know about that. And it's like, you know, everything about dark energy and everything is based off our observations with light. And I'm not saying that those assumptions are wrong. I'm just saying that, you know, we're saying that things are speeding up because there's the redshift and everything. Sure, that's the case, but does that mean that things will be redshifted in the future? Uh, probably, but it's not guaranteed, you know. That looks like a piece of, like, bread or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe, um, because I, I remember my brother was telling me that something about this. I don't fully understand it, so I feel like I'm misrepresenting it. But he said something along the lines of, um, like, the laws of time and physics have changed. Um, like, since the universe was created, things have kind of changed. Oh, well, this is an interesting little room. Uh, what's over here? And, you know, if you kind of look at it like that, it it's kind of, like, foolish to think that it's going to stay exactly the same this entire time. Um, medium battery power. Sure, yeah. I'll take that. And that leaves us with 500 extra. Sure. Excellent. Um, this is a very strange layout. I've not seen this before, and I'm curious because I feel like there's going to be some good stuff in here. Oxygen cylinder. That is interesting. Oh, there's actually fractional distillation. Oh, we could make some uh, nice whiskey here. No. <laughs> yeah, it'd not be very effective to distill whiskey. That's funny. Yeah. One milliliter at a time. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put distillation and uh, bleach. Cause that's a really solid find there, like honestly. There's some really cool stuff here. That oxygen cylinder, oh it's like an oxygen tank. That's that's what that is. I gotcha. Just calling it an oxygen cylinder kind of like threw me off. Okay, wow, this is, this lab is crazy. This is so expansive. Like it's, honestly this is like one of the bigger labs um, I've seen in a little while I think. Oh look, Amigo room. Nice. Uh, what killed that zombie though? Something's uh, something's rolling around here that killed you. Let's just take care of the zombie. Yeah, the Amigo. I'm not too worried about it. It's whatever killed the other zombo. There. Got me a little concerned. Oh, it's a spitter. That's weird. You you didn't kill the other zombie, did you? I'm, I'm confused by that. Like, I'm honestly confused. Let's just transport that over. I just want to take care of this right now. You know, we haven't really found too much rare stuff here, actually. Um, hello. Yeah, we'll just take care of that. There's a lot of um, things walking around there. Uh, there's some bleach here. Okay. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of chemicals that we got in here. This that's really good for us. Um, because I was it's really inefficient to tr craft it yourself, but you can do it, and we had been doing that a little bit. But like, why craft it when you can get it from exploring a lab, which you're gonna do anyways, you know? 
Uh, just gotta be careful because these rooms can have turrets in them. Uh, he boomed me. I was trying to get away and avoid that, but it is what it is. Oh, look, some mutagen. Nice. Cool. I will gladly take mutagen. And then what was the other thing? Oxidizing powder. Yeah, we'll take that too. That you can also use for making mutagen. It's pretty dense, you know. Um, we'll have to do another pass of this whole place. I might do that, like, off camera, just to grab everything. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Chemical reference, oh man. Um, and there's an autoclave. You know, actually, you could probably, you know, it's it would be very difficult, but you could probably get an autoclave up and running in a lab start, but yeah, that would be super hard to do within the lab, you know? Okay, so we've got this right here, which is interesting because it seems to be closed off from a number of directions. I think I know which what room this is. This is just like, um, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think there's a turret. No, this is just like a gym. Yeah, pretty minor. Oh, there's stairs going up in that bedroom. Man, that would suck to have that bedroom. Imagine you're like in this top secret like lab bunker and then some some guy just like built a stairwell right in your bedroom. <laughs> I feel like that's like what they did with like medieval serfs but like in a sci-fi world now. You know? Like the scientists were that. Um, let's see, I just, I, I want to keep on exploring because I want to find, yeah, advanced programming, that's a pretty good find. Uh, we might end the episode on that note, because uh, we're getting a little bit close. Yeah, there's a ton of chemicals here. Um, let's go climb this, and then I think the big book was right here, right? Yep, cool. Alright, I think that, yeah, we'll, we'll end this here, and then we'll come back and um, do more lab diving. Um, I did want to, you know, get to the farming and whatnot, but, like, like I said previously, if you have a lab, why would you not do the lab? Um, and I do remember, I still have those artifacts in the car, but it's been a while since I've actually collected them, so I'm concerned that I'm going to forget about them. So please remind me. Please remind me. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.